Well, can't wait to see what he's got waiting for me. But in the meantime, well, let's get started myself. Uh, as you should all hopefully know, I'm Debasha. I've been playing Magic on and off for the last... Oh, has it really only been five years or so? Wow. Uh, mostly on Arena and TTS these days. These are actually literally my first physical Magic cards. Yes, really. Oh dear. This is going to be fun for you guys at home. <laughs> and uh, also thanks to Doc for leaving me these basic lands from the set. With all the focus on... There's a soldier token. A basic mountain. But with all the focus on... Enchantments, obviously enchantment removal is going to be big. And with all the focus on graveyards with the escape mechanic, I'm thinking exile and graveyard removal is going to be big. All told, I'm thinking Demir with a bit of a splash into green. First card we've got is Deny the Divine. A pretty nice counterspell that, as I just mentioned, also exiles, so... Come on, focus. So, exile, that's definitely going to be very useful. And let me, there we go. At least try to sort this by color and cost. Rapid Flames. A block denier and small bit of damage for those little guys. Ooh, Ilias Forest Runner. In basically a not quite so aggressive mammoth. I do find it a little interesting that this and aggressive mammoth are in standard at the same time, considering aggressive mammoth only costs one more. Ooh, the Soul Reaper of Mogus. This is one of the better engines of this set so far that I've seen. Sack. Sack a creature, plenty of those, and plenty of these tokens. Sack a creature, draw a card, focus. Does that trick even really work? I don't know. Oh, well. Three drop black. I have a love-hate relationship with white lions. Chain to memory. Generally better for the scrying than the debuff. Focus. Enchantment and Ferica's Libation. Enchantment and creature removal. That's gonna be fun. Well, or creature removal. Still can't quite get this. Another three drop. Hyrax Tower Scout, not terrible. ETB on tap.
there's bound to be a trick to this somehow. Ooh. Ooh. Our first artifact. Wings of Hubris. Okay, come on, focus, camera. Things flying. Ooh, flicker fate. Exile a creature and jam it. But it comes right back. But definitely good for a dodge. Kisses. The thing that goes with this token. He enters tapped. 3 2, he doesn't untap. And on ETB, he just creates one of these fancy tokens. Got a lot of human soldier tokens. Ooh. Ooh, Utropia. I, I kind of want to make a Simic deck one day ju just for this guy. Counters, temporary flying, and all on Constellation. Two on constellation. That's gonna be fun. And our rare is blue. That that looks good for this deck. Flash, flying, cost of five. Is this a no? It's not. <laughs> and flash, flying, counterproofing. A nice big body. That, that was a really. If we want to go to mirror, that's a really good pack for us. There we go. Elite instructor. Some draw and discard ETB. Not bad. Thing is winning, right? Final flash or flare. Totally flare. I'm thinking maybe my secondary deck will be at least partly red. Because this is a good move. Send it on, boy. Those enchantments. Moss Viper. The tiny snake. That's always a thing. Just a simple 1-1 one -one with death touch. Always good. Ooh, this is nice. A big black boy. I really wish we could manually control that, that focus. Oh, 
another high rex tower scout. Satyr is cunning. It's uh gotta be honest, I don't understand the point of this card. I, I guess it gives you sack engines and collapse. Cavalcade of Calamity would be a decent combo with it, I think. Another Hero of the Pride. Ooh. Here is our mana fixing Traveler's Amulet. This is a good card. Very good card. Grim Physician. Debuff on death. Ooh, our first demigod, Renata. That definitely encourages some of that. Definitely encourages that green splash, I think. And of course, it gives counters to everything else. Agonizing remorse. Good old hand fuck. We meet again. Or a card from their graveyard. That is the thing to remember with this thing. Triumph of Annex. It's a pretty good card for those high power aggro decks. Ooh. Labyrinth of Scopos for a rare. That's that's pretty good. Well, it's decent anyway. Removes things from combat, but costs four to do it. Not quite Maze of If. A mountain, and yet another human soldier. Okay, so that pack was a little less great, but still good. Maybe I'll go Celestnia with the second deck. Come on. There we go. Oops, I can see already. Okay. Transcendent Envoy again. Stern Dismissal. A one drop. A one drop. Bump. Another final flare. Ooh. Mixborn Colossus. He's not too complicated. He's just. Come on. Not too complicated, just a big boy with some good devotion. Temple Thief. Now, this guy is gonna be a good attacker in this set. No, can't be blocked by enchanted enchantment or enchanted creatures. Another Sage's Cunning, another Hero of Pride, another Chain to Memory. Those are good. But, well, hey, it's a one-drop Scry 2. I'm not gonna scoff at that. Another Libation, another Tower Scout. Ooh, Boro. Boros Uncommon. <laughs> Create some of those tokens. Focus camera. Okay. Ooh, what's it? I'm not familiar with this one actually. It's a bit of a gamble from the people playing red, but that uh, it's pretty good actually. Maybe I'll run Boros in my other deck. Minions return. 
that, that's a very good card. Gain control of the creature when it dies. Or return, or return one of your creatures, whichever works for you. Ooh, the cacophony. Exiles, exile stuff from graveyard to get zombie tokens. That's always nice. I may include it. Another mountain and another human soldier token. Well, we're at one sixth of the way there. I don't crack packs very often. And can you tell that I learn relatively fast? Another denied the another denied the divine, another rapid flames. Ooh, here's another one. Skull of Grove Dancer. bit of self mill and land. It's a decent, hey you milled me, I get a little something out of that kind of card, but I probably won't be running it. Another Wings of Hubris, another Flicker of Fate. All my white cards are two drops so far, aside from the multicolored ones. That's interesting. Thirst for meaning. Pretty good. Actually, no, it's it's really very good, especially for a three drop. Now this card I love. Live fast, but also mill too. I don't like self mill, but this is Theros. Escape is a thing. I love philosophy. I mean, it's a one drop. It's not terrible. I may or may not actually run it. Dreadful apathy, there we go. Can't attack or block, and if for another three you can exile it. Elsa's Nightmare. Creature, that's always nice. Some hand fuck, also always nice. And when it finishes up, it exiles their entire graveyard, so no escape for you. Ooh, so these my. Ooh. Ooh, 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 that's gonna be fun. Annex, another demigod. Unfortunately, it, it is really a token generator. It could be useful in Rakdos, but I kind of don't want to play Rakdos today. Cling to dust, graveyard removal, plus escape. taught me the trick to this thing. Hactos the Unscarred. Oh yeah, I, I'm probably running at least partially Boros. Yeah, I'm probably running at least partially Boros for one of my guard, one of my uh, decks. Thundering Chariot. Hmm? What's, what's this? Ah. It's, uh... It appears to be an ad for MTG Arena. Go play it if you haven't already. Oh, he cracked a couple of those too.
thundering chariot. Ooh. Not sure how well it's showing up, but it's a foil. First strike, trample, haste, and cruel one. I'm probably running that, yes. And my land is a basic play. Helion's Pilgrim, ETB Library Searching, Enchantment Searching, I should say. Very nice. Oh, Spider Token. With Reach, of course, because of the spider. Starlit Mantle for some Hexproof on Flash. Eh, always good for a Demir deck to have some ways to say nope. Orient of the Mountain's Blaze, that's a good one. Card draw when you need it. Or decent defender when you don't. That's going in the Boros deck, definitely. Carmetra's Blessing. A little power boost and Hexproof. And indestructible. Those enchantment creatures that I have so, so many of. Well, I'm not even halfway through my packs. Ooh, there's there's an auto include in this deck, I think. Omen of the Hunt. Those omens are good cards. Wait, wait, which effect does this have again? Search your library for basic land. Put in the battlefield. Scry to... So yeah, this omen is mana fixing, which we'd like in this deck. Scavenging Harpy, ETB Graveyard Removal. Flummox Cyclops. Nobody is a. You are not. You are blocking nobody. And nobody is running you. Ooh, there we, there we go. There's some mana fixing. Unknown Shores. Final Death, expensive, but in this set it is worth it because it's an exile. Return to Nature, Artifact Enchantment Removal, plus exiling potentially. Auto include in this thing. Have I. Cedar. Next Herald gives something plus one plus one and trample every turn. Focus. That's a good card. Definitely gotta consider that one. Slaughter Priest of Mogus. I, I may consider using some of my black scraps to splash into black on the Boros deck. One thing at a time. Enemy of Enlightenment. This is not great. It's expensive, it can die if your opponent has decent card draw. I mean, it's tough to begin with, but it's very much something you only play during the late game, if at all. Forest. Dream Trawler. Those are Zorius decks. Maybe I'll try to splash in a little bit of blue in the or in the Boros deck to make room for that. Dream Troll is a pretty good card. And it syncs up fairly well with the red card draw. And again, the Cyclops is it's a 4-4 four, four for four. So Maybe worth running, just to have a big brood on the board. Come on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Nyad 
of the Hidden Coves. When it's not your turn, when it's not my turn, my spells will be cheaper. Or as Tap Tap and Seed Nicknames calls it, I prefer to think of it as our turn. Ooh. Underworld, Underworld Rage Hound, attacks each turn if able, escape, and it's a relatively cheap 3-1. Decent to have. Another Heliod's Pilgrim. Another Elite Instructor. Soldier Token. Always risky, but Potentially worth it, I think. Relentless Pursuit. Reveal the top four. And uh, put a creature or land into your hand. Rest into the graveyard. Th this is pretty good. And it's May, so if the only creature or land card you have on the board is an escape thing, eh, you have options. Ooh. Catablepus. Catablepus. Good in good ETV effect. Honestly, I, I think the only thing this is missing is escape. Nylia's Huntmaster. Hmm. Nice dude. A nice little Devotion to green boost. Could also use trample, I think. Pious Wayfinder. You get what you pay for, I think. Not great. I probably won't even run it in the Bractos deck. Bractos. <coughs> the uh, Boros deck. We'll see. Yeah. Rufflers. Good artifact removal. Or just a uh, speedy boy. Brian Giant. Will probably not be a 5 6 for 1 anytime soon. But it's a good card to have, and ooh, I'm pushing the limit here. That's a 7 drop. Satessin uh, Petitioner. Pretty good card. Devotion life gain. Definitely better than devotion based power boosting. Another minion's return. Stinging longfish. Lionfish, excuse me. Another thing that. Another. Uh, our turn kind of deal. Whoa, Scryer. Chupacabra, wish I had a goat token, but Doc took his. That's probably going to be an auto include in this deck. Basic Island. I think I want to try to speed things up here. And the card gods apparently heard me. Another freaking soldier. Another Starlet Mantle. Yu-Gi-Oh! Sorry, it's... Wait, do I already have one of these? Where are my red threes? No, I did not have another one of these. I was thinking... Uh, oh, well. I just want to point this one out because my nickname for this in TTC nicknames was there's one thing a Leonin always keeps his pride on death graveyard control always nice eh, some maybe flying
The Vuvuzela guy. More goats. Maybe I'll play him. Gift of Strength. The box standard, but new art. Now this will be good for the Boros deck. Constellation Tapping. Oh. Inspire Awe. Except it's more expensive than fog. Pretty bad in fog considering the focus on enchantments and enchanted creatures, and also some scrying. I'll I'll at least well, my entire thing is my sideboard, I suppose. Another final death. Oh there we go. Altar of the Pantheon. Brandy. That was my TTC nickname for her. Yeah, that's a good card. I'll probably toss her in. Heliod's Punishment. Your, uh, yeah, your little go away for four turns card. Mirror Shield. Good to have. I'll probably toss it in. Basic Swamp, and Gravebreaker Lamia. That's a good one. ETB searching for anything. Oh wait, no, that's a graveyard searching, never mind. Still though, good escape. It's a graveyard tutor, it helps with escape costs. It's a fine card. I'm liking Demir. just realized that I should have nicknamed this card Scrying Treason on T for TTC. It's just active treason, but with scrying and more expensive. Sun Main Pegasus. Vigilance and Lifelink for two. That's pretty good, actually. Sleep of the Dead. That's a good card. That is a good card, and it's a one drop. Eh. Flashing first strike. Always nice. The Loathsome Chimera. Yeah. There's your escape card. Freaking expensive though. Another Piper, another Unicorn, another Awe, another Final Death, another Altar of the Pantheon. Ooh, drag to the Underworld. Simple murder, but probably cheaper because your Devotion to Black will probably be higher than two at one point or another. Ferris Bank Brawler. ETB, fight a creature, basically six removal. And no, it does not have banding. Underworld fires. One damage to all creatures and planeswalkers, exile whatever dies this turn. Pretty good. Another friggin' human soldier. And an island. Nylia's Intervention. That's actually pretty good. I just checked to see that I'm recording. That would have been really, really, really bad. Oh, this pack's upside down. Oh, well. Oop, another omen. This one creates two of these fuckers. 
and gains you life. Another deny the divine. My stuff's getting buried. And then get back there. What is this? Oh, a sight terror. Doc might want one. But probably not. Another gift of strength. Ooh, underworld charger. His escape. He can't block. But hey, he escapes with. He's a 3 3 for 3, and he escapes as a 5 5 for 5. Strong card all. All, all around strong card. Another dreadful apathy. Another idol on a philosophy. Voracious Typhon. A four. That's basically the green variant of the the uh, <coughs> underworld charger. A four four for four, and a se escapes as a seven seven for seven. Another wings of hubris. Skofos, war leader, gives you something to use those stupid satyrs with. Myers Grasp, 3-3 three, three enchant. Minus 3, minus 3 enchant. Pretty good. It's basically small removal. Devourer of Memory. Ah. Uh, I like Demir. I think Demir's gonna kill it this season, but... I just am not a huge fan of this particular card. Nessian Wanderer. Uh, let's see. Constellation, search a land from your top three, but it bottoms the rest. Cards like this are dangerous. I don't tend to like using them. Ooh. Celestian creature. Mm. Celestia is pretty nice. Especially this. Maybe I'll. Yeah, who knows what I'll do with that other deck? Basic Swamp. Hmm. Ooh. This baby. Yeah. Those enchantments. No, 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 no. Come on. There we go. Ichthyomorphosis. Solid, solid removal. Another portent of betrayal. Another Karametra's blessing. Another forerunner. Ooh, kind of a waifu. Yeah. Life link and handfuck, all wrapped in one little four-drop package. Ooh, a thaumaturge is familiar. It's a decent card, but I don't think I'll include it. Scry 1 ATB, flying 1 3 for 3. It's not a bad card. I, I see you. Oh, another one, really? Another Tower Scout. Another Chain of Memory. Another Satyr's Cunning. Three freaking Satyr's Cunnings, really? Actually, let's see. Another human soldier. Basic swamp. What else? Okay, the rest.
chests or things we haven't seen yet. Venomous Hierophant, Death Touch, 3-3, three, three, and Mill Self for 3 on EPV. Not great, but Escape and such, and Death Touch, that's always nice. Risky, very risky, Furious Rise. Two more sagas. Uh, let's see. Each player mills three. Exile up to two cards in graveyards. Gain one life for each creature that was returned that way. And return target creature or land from my graveyard to my hand. That's pretty good. Birth of Miletus. 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 Whatever. Search a basic plane, always nice. Create a wall, gain life. Not amazing, but it's cheap. Eat to extinction. Exile, target creature, planeswalker. So already it's better than the more expensive final death. And I get to Surveil 1. Why don't they just call it Surveil 1? Does Surveil reveal? I forget. I don't Surveil a lot. magic. Ooh, another reflection token. Basic plane. Sweet. A second basic land. I hope that didn't take the place of one of the commons. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. Oh, crap, it did. That took the place of one of my other commons. Lovely. Oh wait, is that a... It's hard to tell. Yeah, that's a foil land. Oh, okay, yeah, I see now. That's a foil basic land. Nice. Riptide Turtle, zero five 5 Flash Defender. It's test and training. ETB draw. And it gains trample, and the plus one is greatly. Lamp out of Death's Vigil, another sack engine. Sacrifice a creature to drain one, essentially. Pretty good. Another hero of the pride. That is four heroes of the pride for those counting at home. Another Traveler's Amulet, I'm gonna want that. And maybe I'll put one into the Boros deck. Another Grim Physician, another Thirst for Meaning. Do I, do I already have a Satessan Skirmisher or do I have to show that one off? Yeah, I'm gonna have to show that one off. This is a Grove Dancer. Eh, minor self boost on Constellation. Not bad. Hmm. Plus one, plus one, and ETV damage. Always nice. Hmm. A four, four flyer for six, and when he dies. I get to return an enchantment. Nice. That is nice. Sweet Oblivion. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Mill 4 with escape. Nessie and Hornbeetle. 
He gets counters. He's pretty nice. Ooh. Enigmatic. Come on. Enigmatic Incarnation. Actually, wait a minute. This is. Yeah, these are going to be fun. I'll save one of these Traveler's Amulets for my uh, Oros deck. Wait, will that... Uh, yeah? It's been an hour and I haven't even finished cracking. A wall. Forest. Ooh. Rage Hound. Lost Pride. Another Nyad. Another Hero of the Games. Another Gift of Strength. Another Rage Scarred Berserker. Another Unknown Shores. Put that in the Mortal Stick. Another Final Death. Another Return to Nature. Memory Drain. Counter and Scry 2. Always nice. Ooh. Wolf Willow Haven. That's that's good, man. Another Maya Triton. Wait, another Maya Triton. Do I have another one? Remorse, Thief, Cacophony, Piper, Piper. No, this is Myers Grasp. ETB Mill but ETB Mill Two Gain Two Life. Careless Celebrant, two damage on death, and a not terrible creature. The Nightmare Shepherd, this baby. Exile it. Free a token. That's pretty nice. Uh, where? I gotta hurry up and these. Doc mentioned that I. I think Doc mentioned he only took about an hour. I wasn't looking at the clock. I hope we don't have to come back late for these. Goats! Planes! Wait, where's that foil plane? Rage Hound. Here we have two of them. Elite Instructor. Oriad. Lamprey. Omen of the Forge. It's an omen. It's ETB's shock. Mogus's favor. Did I already have one of these? No. Plus two, minus one. Enchant. Escape for two. Not as Huntmaster. Do I have that more already? Yes. Another Wayfarer. Wayfarer. Heroes of the Revel. Yeah, I have that. I have that already. No, apparently not. Well, ETB, Creator Satyr. And, uh, some self-targeting boosts. Always nice. Acolyte of Affliction. Hmm. Pretty good. Mill 2 and Graveyard Recovery. Hero of Winds. Oh, that's just not fair. I like Temple of Abandon. But I'm not doing red green in the same deck. Still, damn fine card. Hey, Hero of Winds. 
Cast a spell that targets itself. Creatures you control get plus. It's not terrible. Not great. Oh. Foil Uncommon. A fo a foil Warden of the Chained. And it's Gruel. Just like that Temple of Abandon. Maybe I'll splash green in the Boris deck. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? Like, right around... Oh dear. Yeah, there was some interference like right around here, and then the entire thing blinked. That's... that's not good, I'm assuming. Creatures get plus zero plus one when they attack. Not bad. Nixborn Sea Guard. Nothing too fancy. Two five enchantment creature for four. Relentless Pursuit. Another Catablepus. Another Thirst for Meaning. Another Assassin Skirmisher. Another Erosa's Blessing. Another funeral rites. Chainweb Arak near. A one two with reach and escapes with a bunch of shit. ETB damage a creature by its power. Dreamstalker Manticore. <laughs> Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn. You're in the wrong color for that, buddy. Ooh, Hydra's Growth. Auto include. Nyx Lotus. That's that's gonna be cool. I'm not sure which. I'll probably put that in the Boros deck just because it'll be more consistent with the uh, devotion. Ooh. Tentacle token. Basic forest. Foil Daxos. Nice. Soldier token, basic island, Mixborn Sea Guard. Thrill possibility, discard one, draw two. Pretty good. Triumph and Surge, destroy, gain some life. Another Sleep of the Dead, another Loathsome Chimera. Actually, I'm setting that on this side too. Underworld Charger, right about the other ones. Wait. There it is. Revoke Existence, Exile and Artifact or Enchantment. Always nice. Another Meh Inspire Awe, another Cyclops. Shimmerwing Chimera, that's interesting. I think I'm gonna run it. ETB? No, not no ETB. Each of my upkeeps return up to one target and jam, and I control it with its hand. Owner's hand. Another Dream Shaper sa Shaman. Soul Guide Lantern. That's going to be useful, I think. But I might put it in the Boros deck, because this deck already has a good amount of exile. Arasa the Endless Web. Another spider. Oh, and I get to pairs with the spider tokens. Galia of the Endless Dance. Other satyrs you control get plus one plus one in haste. Attack with three or more creatures, discard a card at random, and draw two. Rules looking more and more appealing by the pack. Of 
divine. Rapid flames. Sentinel's eyes. Plus one, plus one, and vigilance. With escape. That's pretty damn good. Another Nyxborn Colossus. That green devotion. Goat. Swamp. Temple Thief. Revoke Existence. Arena Trickster. Whenever I cast my first spell during each opponent's turn, plus one, he gets a plus one, plus one counter. Still in the wrong colors for it, but... Wait. What the... Oh, there we go. Warbriar Blessing. Yeah, it's a good card. Another Unknown Shores. That one I will add to the three-color deck. Impending Doom. A risk, but could be fun. Great Merchant of Asphodel. Let's see. Each opponent loses life equal to my devotion to black. And I gain life equal to it. It's pretty good. Ooh. Underworld Dreams. Draw. Whenever an opponent draws a card, deal three damage to them. And it's pure devotion. Ah, oh, there we go. My Demir Devil Land. Incendiary Oracle. Foil. Eh. Exile's what it would normally kill. How did Doc do this in just one hour? Oh, I can already see. Mine, mine, mine. The Vexing Gull. You know what this is. Flash flying. Sager token. Where did the other one go? Basic planes. Aspect of the Manticore. Sun main Pegasus. Another Nyxborn Colossus. Another Scavenging Harpy. Yet another thirst for meaning. Funeral rites. An Eidolon. Dreadful apathy. Satessan skirmisher. <laughs> Got the red card that goes with the Labyrinth of Scopos. Maybe I'll put those together in the Boros deck. We'll see. Dawn Evangel. Whenever a creature dies, if an aura listen you control is attached to it, return a creature card with convert mana cost two or less from the graveyard to hand. That can be pretty good with Daxos. Destiny Spinner. A creature and enchantments I control can't be countered. Hope he doesn't have one of these. Eh, target line you control. Until I turn. X. Eh, decent. Not great. Satessant Champion. Now oh, that's a constellation effect. Last pack. I'm glad I got at least one out of this work out of the deal. Lovely. Come on. Crack this pack. There we go. Another okay. Another state here. In islands. Ooh. That's another stern dismissal. Another final flare. Another glory bearers. Another gift of strength. Another underworld charger. Fruit of Tizarus, target player loses two life, escape for four. Pretty good. Another return to nature, another omen of a forge. Did I put omen, my first omen of a forge in with the... No, oh, there it is. With the... That. Bronze sword. It, I'm not even showing it to you, it's that crap. Ooh, Ferricus Spawn. 
escape with <laughs> escape and make some sacrifice shit. Always fun. Sea God Scorn. Up to three target creatures and or enchantments go back to their owner's hands. That's pretty good. Even for six. Favor of Aroas. Gains double strike on constellation. That's good. That's really good. Shatter the sky. Each player controls a creature with power four rare draws a card, then destroy all creatures. It has its place. Foil Elysian Car Caryatid. Add mana of any color. Add two mana if you control four or greater. Okay. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> 